Hey everybody, Kyle here. Welcome to yet another Kyle Paints 2020. This time I'd like to talk about just a interesting thing in my paintings that I don't know if I've really talked about before. So when you're looking at an image, there's often a point where it comes together as a cohesive whole and you see the image. But then as you approach it and get closer and closer, the, the greater image kind of disappears and you start noticing smaller and smaller elements. And then as you zoom in even closer, you stop noticing the elements and you just start noticing the means of production, like the brush strokes or the half tone or the pixels or whatever whatever is making up the image. And I've always just really loved looking close, like right on the verge between when you can see how it's made and when you step back and it just pops into being a full image. You know, I was little, I used to love looking at the old uh, newspapers. The color photos would have a fairly low resolution uh, halftone pattern. When you looked up close, you would just see a random mass of mushy dots. And then as you zoom out, it just, pops and there's a face or there's a landscape. I don't know, I've always just found that, just that zone where you can hover between both kind of simultaneously, the most interesting part of image viewing. And later on, I'd have this, um, this feeling reinforced going to museums and galleries where you would look at the work of the great masters. And some of these would look almost photographic with the accuracy of the rendering. But then you step close and you realize some of the characters in the background, it's just four brush strokes. That's all they did. And when you step back, it, it's a perfect face. Children playing on a bridge and then you get up close and it's just a couple gobs of random color slapped on the canvas. And it's, it's just amazing. In my own work, I try to have elements that might be suggestive of one form or one shape. There might be some sort of geometric elements doing one thing and then something else sort of contradicting it. And when you're up close, you don't really see it. But when you step back and just kind of let your eyes wander, sometimes they might pop forward. In my own process, where I will be looking at the images on a full screen and they look one way, but I don't bother to paint it unless it also looks good as a tiny little thumbnail when I'm looking at the whole folder. And again, it's that so much detail is taken out and it just kind of... And I think one of the reasons why I also find this interesting is it's kind of the idea of the closer you look at something, the more it breaks apart and the harder it is to see. When I was in art school, um, we would have a lot of discussions in classes about what is art. And this kind of sounds ridiculous because I think everyone who hasn't been to art school haven't really thought of this, but you know what art is when you see it. It's, you just know. But when you go to art school and you really think about it and try to define it and what it is and what it is not, anything you can define out of the circle of art, an artist can just go and make a piece of art that falls outside of those boundaries, but is still recognized as art. And again, it's, you know, the more you're focused on it and the more you're thinking about it, the more of a tangled mess of confusion it becomes. Yeah, I think my work is sort of using the uh, visual manifestation of that effect perhaps as a metaphor for the uh, more conceptual elements of that. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that seem very simple and clear, and some people will think themselves into a great state of confusion over it. I can't remember the old quote, there's certain kinds of stupid that take a lot of education to achieve. So on some hands, there's, there's that elements, but on the other hand, there's, you know, knee-jerk reactions that are superficial versus deep thought. And, you know, how do you how do you know which is which? How do you know where to, you know? That effect of watching things fade in and fade out really, you know, that's something I really think about quite a lot in my work. All right, thanks for watching.